was one of the greatest Australian footballers and his name has become part of our folklore. Roy Cazaley was born in 1893, the 10th child of a large family. At the age of 16, he joined the St Kilda Football Club and played for that team for the next 11 years without pay. In 1921, he transferred to South Melbourne for six pounds a week. There, he formed the terrible trio ruck combination with Mark Tandy and Skeeter Flyter. Cazaley was a brilliant high mark and Flyter's cry of up there Cazaley was soon taken up by the crowds. When the same cry was adopted by the Australian troops in North Africa during the war, Cazaley's place in history was assured. Also a talented rower, Roy Cazaley was obsessed with sport, the body and physical movement. In his later years in Tasmania, he bred horses and with Master Barry won the first Tasmanian trotting championship. Dedicated to the science of physical fitness, he ran a successful health clinic in Hobart. After 99 games with South Melbourne, Cazaley embarked on a great playing coach career, which lasted spasmodically until 1951. He coached City in Launceston, North Hobart, South Melbourne, Hawthorne, then Newtown in Hobart, and later Preston and Camberwell in the VFA. Cazaley, on the left in this picture of a somewhat tamer terrible trio, played his last professional game with Camberwell when he was 48, but he's known to have put in a full game for Newtown 10 years after that. His children and his grandchildren are justly proud of Roy Cazaley, the man who's regarded as the greatest exponent of Australian football between the two world wars and whose name is now part of this country's heritage. Roy Cazaley, a member of the Sport Australia Hall of Fame.